let's put the video to this where you guys in, uh, in Reasons to Believe have put together this video, video documentary that takes us through space back to the creation event and one of the sections has to do with what Earth was experiencing at the beginning. The bombardment, if you want, of the primordial Earth with asteroids and we're going to see what that looked like. And then this whole thing of the prebiotic soup and what science, science has found. This is absolutely fascinating, folks. Let's watch this. Besides the moon and an occasional asteroid, Earth's nearest neighbors are the planets Mercury and Venus on the inside, between the Sun and the Earth, and Mars on the outside. Our closest neighbor, Venus, like Mercury, is so close to the Sun that the Sun's gravity has worked like a set of brakes on its rotation period. Venus takes 244 Earth days to spin around just once. Our planet rotates about four times more slowly today than when life first appeared. Scientists have determined that a more radical change in Earth's rotation rate would have been catastrophic for life. Mercury, like the moon, has only a slight atmosphere. Therefore, since virtually no erosion has occurred, Mercury's oldest geologic features remain, the scars of ancient impacts by asteroids and comets. Mercury's meteor-scarred landscape documents for us the early history of the inner planets a time of intense asteroidal and cometary bombardment. This heavy assault not only took place on Mercury, but also on Venus, Mars, and the Moon. Likewise, the primordial Earth was not spared from this intense bombardment, even more so because of Earth's greater mass. This heavy bombardment resulted in searingly hot conditions, hot enough to vaporize the Earth's oceans and melt the Earth's crust. Obviously, no possibility for life existed at that time. For decades, scientists theorized that life on Earth arose from a vast collection of non-living molecules called the prebiotic soup. A process that required billions of years. But now research has shown that life arose quickly in less than a few million years after the late heavy bombardment. In addition, there is no evidence for a prebiotic soup. If there was a prebiotic soup, we would expect to find the remains of it in ancient carbonaceous material, such as kerogen and graphite. As it turns out, all carbonaceous material on and in the earth comes from postbiotic material, the decay of established life. 